All right, good evening. Welcome to the January 5th Board of Selectmen's meeting. It is being audio and video recorded. If you'd please stand and join us in the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, the first item on the agenda is a change of manager request. Um, from Mohill LLC, doing business as Jesse's, Jesse's Liquors at 387 West Center Street. Hi. Um, so if you'd just briefly like to uh, sure. tell us um, what your intentions are uh, and introduce the, the new manager. Yep, uh, good evening. My name is attorney John Moradi in Democus Law Offices. With me is uh, Rakesh Patel. All we're seeking tonight is a change of manager um, for Jesse's Liquors over at 387 West Center Street. Um, Rakesh is uh, TIP certified. He'll be working at the store 30 to 40 hours a week. Um, there's no other changes to the operation, just a change of manager uh, for the store. Okay. And I believe he met with or spoke with... Um, Was it Chris Warner, the liquor agent? Yeah, the, the police officer. Okay. To, to Linda, is everything good everything from is Chris? Good. We have no issues. Okay. All right. Are there any questions or comments? No. 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 Okay. Is there a motion to approve the change of manager? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Great. All right. That's Thank all. You. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next on the agenda is public amusement arcade games application for Funzie Trampoline Park at 860 North Main Street. So if you'd just like to introduce yourselves and um, tell us what you're planning on doing, what you're asking for. Um, uh, I'm David Seeley. I work for Sunstar Vending. And we are um, we place arcades in businesses. So he's the actual general manager of the business. So it would be okay. yeah, their permit. Mm -hmm. But um, what we do is we would like to put in one of the arcades like you would see in Dave and Buster's, you know, the, uh, yeah. you know, uh, teller and yep, we have games. another arcade in town as well. Yeah, same same exact yep. thing. We're in all the altitudes. Sunstar's a um, national company. You know, we do the revenue share with the business, so it's you know it's pretty straightforward. Okay, thank okay. you. Are there any questions or comments? I actually had a couple of questions. I went through the paperwork, and it's your your address is in Brockton. Do you have to get Brockton's approval as well? So. This is my understanding. The building, the business, their their business, mm -hmm. is split something like this. It's almost completely in West Bridgewater, and there's a little piece in Brockton. So you know, honestly, from our standpoint, we don't know. I did a little um, investigative, you know, phone calls, and I was told that you guys are handling the permit because the bulk of the place is in West Bridgewater. Uh, you know, okay. the, the line literally goes through. It, if this were yep. the operation, the entrance door. If if this is 28, the entrance door is over here. This is Brockton. This is West Bridgewater. It's right through the building. Okay. I mean, that's as long as you're licensed with us. That's between you and Brockton. Right. From my standpoint. There was one other note that I noticed when I was going through the paperwork. It said you don't have any employees and that you're not required to have workers come. Is that accurate? No, I don't think so. They do have employees and they do have workers. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so So that's probably can we hold off a second and, and look into this? I don't what we can do is why don't you if the board's okay, why don't you approve it subject to him having more stump because yeah. he must have his work stump on file because yeah. he does um he came oh, before us before for another license. Okay. So yeah. this is just for the arcade, so we must have it in the office. So I will double check tomorrow. And okay. obviously um, it's going to be pending um, sign-offs from building as well. So it's not going to get released anyway okay. until Mike is comfortable with them. Because okay. um, Mike does have a couple of issues with them. Okay. So until that's resolved, um, the license will not get released. Okay. So I'll um, have them send to whom the workers comp certificate. We should have it on file. I'm yeah. going to check my office tomorrow. Okay. And I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll reach out to them yeah. if we do not. They'll send it. 
Did you see that in paperwork that came in with this request, Mary, or with the previous? With the it was previous? in here when I was reading this before the meeting. And um, I also know that the. Um, yeah, on page seven. Yes, page because seven. He's the only sole per person. But it says he has no employees. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's obviously filled out. There's a little bit of a language barrier, and that's why I'm here. I'm trying to help him out. Oh, that's you know, nice of you. Yeah. Well, you I've know, been there. My kids love the place. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'm sure that filling out of the forms when English is your third language is mm -hmm. not so easy. So. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Are there any other questions or comments? No. So, is there a uh, motion to approve um, pending inspections and verification of workers' comp insurance? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 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 Nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay. Um, go to appoint Laurie Turner um, Curran as second alternate to the Zoning Board of Appeals. Hi. Sure. Yeah, come on down. Hello. Hello. Introduce yourself as you like. And yeah, so I am Laurie Turner Curran. Hello to all of you selectmen. Thank you for this opportunity. I am interested on serving on the zoning board um, for a few reasons. One, um, I've always been the kind of person that likes to be involved in my community and grew up in West Bridgewater, moved to New York City, and lived in New York City for 25 years. And the second I became an apartment owner there, I ran for the board and realized that I loved it. I loved, you know, being part of the team that helps make everybody's living space comfortable and solve problems. And um, I worked in the fashion industry for 25 years, which is really tough. And I'm used to um, listening and being a good thinker and a good discusser and making decisions. So um, moving back here in West Bridgewater with my son so he could go to school, I got on the board at my condos. I live at the Meadowbrook condos across from Market Basket and have loved it. So I just, I really enjoy um, being part of a team of people that make things like happen. So when it was brought up to me, um, I said yes. And so I've sat in a couple of the meetings. I know all the people that are on the zoning board from either when I was younger or from now and um, think I would be a really good, strong part of the team. Great. Thank you. So it would be my honor. Good. Thank you. That's awesome. I wish more people would volunteer and have that. I attitude. really, really it's enjoy really it. Not a lot of people enjoy it, but I, I really do. Right. And um, yeah, I've always, every single place I've ever been, I've always, I've always jumped right in. And, and if I don't know something, I'll learn. I mean, obviously I'll get the book and, and um, you know, I'm a fast learner and but I just feel like if you're going to be, I think when I was in New York and it was such a big, huge amount of people to have my little neighborhood, it was like my little West Bridgewater. Mm -hmm. And when you're involved, it makes you feel safe and comfortable and yeah, reminded me of home. So I've done it ever since. I, I think what a lot of people fear, Lori, is the lack of experience mm -hmm. in the subject matter. But if they would just take the time to attend some meetings, learn from those that are on the board and have a willingness to participate and, and learn from the others, we'd be much stronger in our local town government. Yes. I mean, I, I have been to two of the meetings already and sat and listened. And, you know, and with every board that I've been on, there's, there's bylaws. There's, it's different for, you know, in New York City, it was co-ops. Mm -hmm. there, aren't, there aren't very many condos. That's a whole nother thing. And so it's just a matter of, you know, anytime you get on something like that, there's things you can learn. And that's always been what I've been good at. So, yeah. you know, I like it. It's it's good. I really really like also looking at people that have been on it for a long time and learning from them. Well, so it's nice, and it's a good role model to my son because I want my son to be involved. I really do. I don't want him to be one of those sit on the sideline kind of people. I so appreciate your willingness to volunteer and enthusiasm about it. Yeah, too. it's you know I love this town. I'm so happy with my my. Son's gonna have the same kind of childhood, you know, that I did. Yeah. It was a lot different in in the city. I didn't want to. I didn't like what I was seeing for schools and things like that. So, and I work in the high school. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so and my Thank family's you. here, so it's great. Thank you. All right. Yeah. 
Fantastic. Awesome. Is there a motion to appoint Laurie to the Zoning Board of Appeals? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Uh, Chief Flaherty has requested that we appoint Richard Long as a special police officer. Is there a motion to make that appointment? So moved. Sorry, I missed this page. Okay. Uh, second. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we are going to table the October 20th meeting minutes, um, but is there a motion to accept for review the November 3rd meeting minutes? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And a vote to release the executive session minutes from February 6, 2019, March 6, 2019, March 20th, 2019, April 17th, 2019, October 2nd, 2019, January 8th, 2020, January 22nd, 2020, February 19th, 2020, May 6th, 2020, and June 17th, 2020. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, there is, looks like there's a request to change the name of the Memorial and Veterans Day Committee to Memorial and Veterans Day slash Veterans Legacy Committee. Linda, do you, have, do you know the reasoning behind that? Um, the reasoning behind that is to maintain the graves of our veterans in the town, uh, marking the graves that are currently not marked. And um, I know that they were having issues um, doing that. And I think as part of that, um, they would also like to apply for some grants. And huh. to do that, um, I believe changing the name um, would make them be able to apply for grants. Okay, sounds good. Is there a motion to make that change? So moved. They yes. also included a um, mission statement. Do we have to vote on that separately? That's another question. Dave? Um. You do not. The, the reason I asked them to include the mission statement is that whenever we change the name or we have a new committee, is that there should be a mission statement so everybody knows what the purpose of the committee is. So if you want to approve it, you're more than welcome to. It's, um, it's your choice. I have no problem if you want to. It's just to concur, Linda is entirely correct. There are uh, veteran grants that are available that because for whatever reason we don't have the word veterans legacy um, in our name, we cannot apply for. So uh, Annie and that committee came to me a couple of weeks ago, suggested we make this minor change. Nothing else really changes with what they do. I think it's all good. Okay. Thank you, David. So we have a motion and a second for the name change. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, vote to release ARPA funds for PFAS remediation. David, do you want to briefly explain this one? Sure. So uh, we all know that with the change in Mass DEP rules and regulations, that one of our wells currently is, has been borderline pass or fail. The water department did a nice job. They went out, they solicited a professional uh, organization, Taft and Howard. They have put together a proposal which will provide us for immediate short-term relief in remediating for PFAS. And that cost is about $365,000. The water department also needs about $11,000 in ancillary engineering funds, so a total of $376,000 is the request. As you know, Michelle Dubois, our state rep, had $100,000 approved as part of the House budget reconciliation process. The Senate approved that as well. So we have $100,000 coming from the state. So last year we received $381,000 from the federal government as a direct source of funds for ARPA. Uh, we can use those funds for any legal purposes. And I met with the town treasurer uh, town account last week. We reviewed the guidance from both the state and the federal government. So it's my recommendation that we release, or you vote to release, $276,000 of these ARPA funds to be used by the Water Department so that way they can um, put forward the, the proposal that Captain Howard has recommended. Okay, thank you, David. Um, so is there a motion to approve the release of $260,000 from the ARPA funds? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, authorized tree re removal list. Um, the tree warden has 
submitted a request. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Is there a motion to approve the list that was submitted? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the historical museum has been in need of a roof replacement for quite some time. There is a um, proposal in front of us. Is there a motion to grant the name of the company? Laura Chelly yeah. construction, yeah. the um, contract. And, and, and Anthony, if I could just jump in for one second. Sure. I just want the board to be aware of the work that Linda did on this in consultation with Mike White. Uh, building inspector. They both did a really good job. They had to go out, solicit bids. There was a minor change, but some changes in the procurement process that we had to make from the previous time to this time. And Linda did a really good job in following that. Mike did a really good job where we really use his expertise to figure out the scope of the work. So I just wanted the board to be aware of what they both did to get us to this point. Thank you, David. Is there a motion to award the contract? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you for your efforts, London. You're welcome. Pass that on to Mike, too, that we appreciate everything you did. In favor or opposed? Uh, in favor, right? Okay. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't say aye, so oh. I was just making sure. Oh, okay. Um, the next thing is from the town clerk. Nomination papers are available. Um, they are due February 18th. Um, the... Offices are one selectman, one assessor, two library trustees, two school committee members, one water commissioner, two constables, one board of health member, one planning board member. Um, public comment period, there's no one here, but um, I do have one message. There is a booster clinic available. Um, Osco Pharmacy will host this COVID-19 booster clinic at the Council on Aging on January 20th, 2022, starting at 2 p.m. Both Pfizer and Moderna vaccines will be available. Okay, um, David, you had already mentioned the town administrator's report when we talked about the ARPA funds. Did you have anything else? I do not. Thank you. Okay. Is there anything else before we go into executive session? No. Nope. Okay, I would entertain a motion to enter into executive session, not to return to open session, to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining, specifically the library union, since in my opinion as chair, strategizing in open session would have a detrimental effect on the bargaining position of the town. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Um, and it's a roll call, so... Anderson, yes. Ray's, yes. And Kenny Han, yes. We're in our executive session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.